Hello and welcome to this week's video. We all know that cutting a thread is one of the most common and useful operations on every mechanical project. There are many different ways of cutting a thread, but one of the fastest and most common ways to do so is with a tap or a die. But there are a few challenges to cutting a thread with these tools and one of them is to get the thread started straight so that the threads don't come out crooked like on so many of my past projects. That's the reason why I will try to make a device that will allow me to do exactly that. My goals for this contraption are, it should be easy and quick to set up, it should be compact and very versatile so I can use many taps and dies with minimal effort to change in between them, it has to be aesthetically pleasing and ergonomic to use, and it must be able to cut straight and precise threads. The way I usually cut my threads on my lathe are just by putting something in the tailstock, like here. The way I usually cut my threads on my lathe is just by putting something in the tailstock and then using that to press against the tap wrench. So it comes out somewhat straight, but if the tap wrench isn't perfectly right angle at the perfectly right angle with the tap, it can be that it's uh, crooked or it just doesn't go in straight. And with the new setup that I am going to plan in this video, I hopefully will be able to to cut the thread easier and with a, a less effort. And something that I am not able to do right now is use the motor to actually cut the thread. I just use it to um, turn it out again because it would be really dangerous if it, I would uh, lose the grip and it would start to spin. But I think with the new setup I hopefully will be able to do that. So, what's my plan for this contraption? The contraption will have three main parts. The first part will be a guide rod that I will have to somehow mount in the tailstock. The second part will be a handheld cylinder or something similar to that that will be able to move forward and backwards on the rod and also rotate around its axis. And then the third part will have to somehow mount any tap or any die to the front of the handheld part. For this I think I will use some sort of a cheap for char chuck that I will order on AliExpress and for the rod to mount it to the tailstock I will need some sort of MK2 taper and I think I know exactly what I can use for this because this cheap center came with the lathe and I looked if it was hardened and uh, it isn't hardened I can cut in it, into it with a hacksaw so I will be able to turn down the black diameter and then just press a piece of rod that I drilled out onto it that I will then be able to use as a as the as the guide rod. And now that we have figured out what this device will have to be capable of, I can start designing it in my CAD program. I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, I would really appreciate the like. And if you don't want to miss the part 2 and probably part 3 of this project, then you should subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and until next week.